today we're going to look at seven different python project ideas for beginners and i'm going to explain why you should try these python projects and how it's going to help you progress in your career as you know python is a very popular programming language and that's a trend that's sure to continue in 2021 as well ever since i made the one minute video series learning python in 30 days a few people ask me questions about how they can progress in their career as a python developer the answer to that question is to try and build some project ideas in Python. In this video, I'm giving you an optimized list of Python projects that can fundamentally improve your Python development skills. Also, I'm going to give you details on how to approach these projects and which Python subtopic you need to learn to be able to complete this Python project. These project ideas are mostly suited for Python programmers ranging from beginners to intermediate. If you're a beginner and you feel this is really difficult, there's no need to feel bad. I'm going to be making tutorials on all of these 7 project ideas in the coming days. And if you require individual help, feel free to message me on my Instagram at fncoder. Also I'll be giving you 2 bonus tips at the end of this video on how to approach learning in Python. So make sure to stick around for that. So let's not waste any more time and get started. Number 1 is the weather application. Making a weather application is a good exercise for learning how to integrate third-party APIs. As a software developer, you're going to be doing this a lot. API stands for Application Programming Interface and it's basically a concept that allows separate software systems to interact with each other. If you're building a weather application, you need to get the weather information from an application that has the weather information. We can use the Open Weather Map website as they provide the API that exposes the weather information that they have. Let's try to understand the problem here. We need to display the current weather in any city around the world. You could start by signing up at the Open Weather Map website and generating an API key. And then we can use that API key to make requests to the Open Weather Map web server with the city name and it will send you back current weather details of the city. Since we are also sending the API key, Open Weather Map knows that you are sending that particular request. When you're doing this project, you can start small by printing out the API response onto the console, but if you are really up for it, try making a cool looking GUI in Python to Kinder. Number 2. Copy Paste Application Copying things from Wikipedia to your essay is a tedious job. First you have to copy text from Wikipedia, then you need to switch window to your notepad, then you need to switch again to copy more things. In this copy paste application, these buttons, video scripts and project ideas represent notepad files. You select one of these and you click start copying. After this, anything you copy to your clipboard will be automatically copied into your selected notepad file as well, saving you the time that you spend switching between windows. Building this application will help you learn how to handle files, your clipboard and all that stuff. Just to remind you that I will be making complete tutorials on these projects in the coming days. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell icon so you don't miss the notifications. Next up, Digital Clock. This one is quite simple. It basically displays the current time and helps you learn how to use Python's time module. You'll also need to learn how to repeatedly update the time every single second. I have a detailed tutorial on this project in my channel along with how to build an analog clock. So make sure to check that out. Link is in the description. Number 4. GUI Calculator No matter what language you are trying to learn, you should definitely build a calculator. You already know how a calculator works. In fact, I think this should be your first application from this list since this is the easiest to build. You'll need to learn if conditions and how to use the math module in Python. As a beginner, you don't necessarily have to make this kind of UI so you can start simple by accepting input from the console. Number 5. YouTube Web Scraper. If you're learning Python, you must learn how to scrape web pages. In YouTube Web Scraper, the tool expects a YouTube video link as input and it will return a list of all keywords associated with the video, which is really useful information if you are a YouTuber. This tool helps you learn how to send HTTP requests and how to parse HTML documents. The ability to scrape information on the web in itself is extremely useful for collecting information, test automation, and has many other possibilities in software development. Number 6. Hangman. You already know how Hangman works. In Hangman, the computer thinks of a word and you have to guess it letter by letter. You get 5 guesses and for each missed guess, you will be drawing a part of a stickman figure. You lose if the stickman figure is complete. There are a few things going on here. You'll need to learn how to work with Python lists, Python dictionaries and Python strings. My next video will be a detailed tutorial on this project so make sure you don't miss this. And last but not the least, Alarm Clock. I added this to our list because it's quite easy to relate to. Everyone already knows how an alarm clock works. You need the ability to save a new alarm, so there's definitely some file handling. And you're going to use the time module since you're dealing with time. 
and the alarm also needs to play a song clip or something when the time is right. So that's our list of Python projects you need to do to improve your Python skills. Let me know in the comments if you think we need to add some other project to this list or if you've tried any of these projects yourself. As promised at the beginning, here are my bonus tips on how to approach learning Python. Tip number one, have a clear goal in mind. A lot of you are getting into Python thinking you can easily make money using Python. For example, a better goal that I've set for myself when I started to learn Python is I want to explore data science and build an artificial intelligence based automation system. Having a clear goal like this will completely change your mindset on how you pursue it. Tip number two, don't worry too much about syntax. As a beginner, when you look at a new programming language, you'll understand nothing and start to panic. What you need to remember is that every single accomplished programmer started off this way. You shouldn't try to learn syntax by heart. Programmers usually Google it many times before at some point they memorize it. Make use of all the online resources that you have. One trick that I do when I'm learning a new programming language is to copy paste code from the internet. Then I change things which will break a few things. After a bit of trial and error, I'll be able to figure out what a line of code means. So my point is, always be curious about programming, but never worry too much about syntax. So that's our video for this week. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As promised, I'll be posting tutorials on each of these project ideas very soon. So make sure that you do not miss any of these tutorials by subscribing and clicking on the notification bell icon. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you soon.